guys. Okay, so I just got done with my workout. I have like dried off a little bit. I sweat so much. But um, I just wanted to share something. Um, I feel like, I don't know, after I work out, it's like kind of time for me to like clear my head and think about things and really understand. Um, I guess just like get a little bit of clarity in what I'm like going for in life. And I don't know, it clears my head so I can think. But anyway, um, I just wanted to share a couple of things. Like, I have been thinking about dreams um, a lot lately, and I think getting ready to go into my fourth year at Evangel, um, I have one year left until I get my undergraduate degree. And just thinking, you know, people ask all the time, like, oh, like, what do you want to do? Um, what's your dream job? And um, I think, like, looking back, um, and this is like a thought I have a lot is like, wow, like growing up, like I wanted to be like a missionary. I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be a researcher. Uh, I wanted to be a lawyer. I wanted to be a dentist, an orthodontist. Um, and as I like got closer to like high school, I was like, I really love science and the medical field. Um, and I really want to help people. And so I thought, wow, like I want to be in medical missions because I love Jesus, one, and I love helping people and I liked learning um, about the human body and how it can work better and um, how people can be well. Um, so that kind of took me down a path of like, okay, like what kind of doctor and just taking all the electives that I could that had uh, anything to do with you know, the human body. So I took physiology, I took anatomy, like for fun. Those were my fun classes. Like some people took like painting, which is also super cool. Not bashing that at all. But like, you know, that was what I wanted to learn about and spend my time doing and, and make flashcards for. So that was just me. And from that point, I remember um, I was like, okay, you know what? Like, I think I want to go into nursing. Um, because I want to be a mom one day and that will provide some flexibility to be home a couple of days a week with my kids whenever that happens so I can be really involved in their life. There's my mom. Hi. Uh, if you want to make some for dinner, that's fine. Oh, well, we don't have any meat, so sure. But otherwise, no. It's kind of interesting. I'm not editing that out because that's life. Um, and that's the point of this video, to share life with you. So, um, but yeah, I was thinking about like, what, you know, what do I want to do? And I really had to kind of start learning to come down to the core of it. And I was praying about it. And I like had my sight set on nursing. I was like, I'm going to be a phlebotomist for a while. I went and I got certified. I drew blood in the county hospital for a bit, um, which I actually really loved. And then, um, senior year of high school, a lot of you guys know my dad had a really big accident and, um, he ended up being in the hospital for two and a half months roughly. And so being there and like watching the ins and outs of the nursing job, um, I realized I had like that come to Jesus moment where I was like, okay, I don't really want to do this actually. Um, which is kind of terrifying because I was like, I had my mind set on that for so many years and like everything, everything I did in high school was consciously to align with that. I was very purposeful in all my extracurricular and how I spent my spare time and what I volunteered with. And I kind of got a little bit mad at God because I was like, really? Uh, I thought we were on the same page here. And all of a sudden, like, I'm feeling like as I'm praying and trying to put this before you, God, like, what's even going on? Because now I feel like this isn't what I want to do. Like, why would this, why would this happen? And I remember having this, like, quiet, still moment with God where he was like, well, you can still do nursing. You have that choice if you want to, but I have more for you. And that was a moment where like, I had to really think to myself, I was like, is this something that I want to take a detour on? Like I've wanted this for so long, but why? What, what's the heart behind it? And I think that in our dreams and our hopes, like that is something so important to like, really come down to and think about. Um, what is it behind the dream? What is the driving force? What is my why, my reason for wanting this? Um, and for me, I felt like that was the best and only way that I could get into certain countries that I wanted to go to, to be able to share um, the goodness of God, you know? And um, I didn't think that God could use other ways into those specific places. Um, and so essentially, it kind of came down to 
I can do this because I'm good at science, because I am capable of this, and this is the only way that has been done before. And I realized in that moment, I was like, God, I've totally and completely put you in a box. Um, and I've called it my calling because it looked like so-and-so is calling, or it looked like what this other person that um, I have followed as they follow Jesus do. And um, all of this realization downloaded a week before I had to tell my college what I wanted to study. <laughs> and so I had this moment where I was like, God, I don't want to take a detour. If you have something greater, I want to go straight to that. And I want to go straight to what you have. And I don't want to waste time because time on this earth, the Bible says our life is like a vapor and it goes by super quick. And looking back, even just at the last four years of college, you know, like it has, it's gone by so fast. And so I remember laying that down and like crying. I was like, God, really? Like, why are we doing this? <laughs> um, and uh, it was just really pivotal for me to be able to see that, um, you know, I, I literally jumped on the website and I was like, all right, uh, nonprofit business. I read the like two sentences they had as a description for that major. And I was like, had a moment again with God where I was like, this is what I'm, this is what I need to do. Um, and so I, I called my, you know, um, admissions counselor, Kevin, and I was like, Kevin, uh, I am switching from nursing and he's like, okay, like what are, what's, what are you doing? And I told him, I was like, I am going to study nonprofit business. Um, he's like, that's awesome. Like, that's such a great major. We've been praying for you and your family. He's like, I know that a ton has gone on, but you know, we support you guys, um, and your family and your decision to follow, you know, that you have been putting this before the Lord, because I had talked to a few of them before about kind of, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, which apparently it's pretty normal. <laughs> So, yeah, um, but I'm sharing that because I'm going into my senior year, and I don't know if I want to go into nonprofit. Um, I think there's a lot of, really, it comes out of, like, a good spot, but people want to know where you're headed. And to be honest, I want to know where I'm headed, too. I want to know what I'm going to be doing with my life. But here's the bottom line. I know that I want to follow Jesus, um, and I know that, like, God understands that I have this desire to understand what's next, and so... Even in the Bible, I see a pattern of God leading people, like a people or person, from one thing to another thing to another thing. And to be honest, if God hadn't put, oh, I want to be a missionary in my heart, um, that desire, um, I wouldn't have looked at nursing and I wouldn't have been open to um, the medical field because I didn't, I wouldn't have seen that as needed to get to where I wanted to go. Um, and because I was looking at nursing for most of high school, um, I was looking out of state because of transferring rates. Um, jobs in California usually are taken by nurses who had seniority because California is a really nice place to live. Um, and so people move out of the state into California and typically take a lot of the nursing jobs, especially in the time frame of um, people that I had been talking to that were looking for jobs in the field. And so my thought process was like, okay, God, like, let's be strategic. I'll look outside of California, um, work a couple of years there, and then transfer back and come home. <laughs> From there, I applied to Evangel University, which is one of four um, universities at that time that had nonprofit business. I wouldn't have and at that, the time that I decided I was going to switch from nursing and not know what was next, I knew I was going to Evangel. And so scrolling down that list, the odds of me picking nonprofit business and picking Evangel, like, guys, that's insane. <laughs> that doesn't just happen. And, like, through all this process, I've learned that I want to help people, like, come to know Jesus. Um, that was the core of being a missionary. Through deciding I wanted to do nursing, I understood that the core of that was I wanted people to be well, um, and I wanted to help them with that. And from nonprofit business, um, helping others is literally the heartbeat of nonprofit, um, and in such a generous, free way of like, I, you know, like this just sacrificial. I want to help people um, and connect them to their purpose, um, whether that's you know through fundraising or 
um, campaigning or whether that's through being able to give what has been donated to foundations to maybe a young kid and their family um, who's going through leukemia um, or who has had a brain aneurysm and a stroke like my dad. And to me, that's what it's about. It's about finding what God has in each season because none of those things were to waste. Um, and to figure out what it is that you're dreaming about now. What are the things that you casually say, oh, that person is living my dream job, or oh my gosh, I would love to do that for a living. Like, pay attention to that. Those things are like, they're like clues in this journey of life to figure out um, and hone in where you're going so that you can be intentional about what you're doing in your life. So I hope that hopefully inspires you. Um, I'm gonna go shower because I'm kind of nasty and sweaty still. <laughs> um, but really, I think that that's one of my core messages that God's really just ingrained and woven inside of me is that, you know what, for me, the longest time was like, God, I just want a blueprint for everything. I just want to know what's next. I just want a whole picture. And really learning to appreciate that there's so many nuggets along the way in the journey. Um, there's so many nuggets of, of wisdom that God is just waiting like an archeologist to uncover that have been in your past and are on your path even right now um, about your future and about what's next for you and and your purpose what's your story what's your light that he's trying to shine into the world through you that is so critical and so important because only you have that and I, I individualization is like one of my like favorite things because I believe God has made each and every one of us so beautifully unique and like to find out what that is and to learn to embrace it and celebrate it because it's a piece of God's character placed inside of us. It's such a sacred honor to be able to lift that up to the world around us and show them, look at what God has placed in me. Look at who he is and look how he's empowered me to shine this into your life, to bless you. And I think that's ultimately like what it comes down to. Like love God, love people, live for the glory of God, live out your calling you know, and experience the freedom that Christ has for you to be able to live out your life. Um, yeah, so I'm going to shower and go eat some dinner. Um, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope this inspired you. Share this with somebody that maybe you've, you know, had some good life chats with. Um, I encourage you to just um, really think about that. You know, write some of this down, journal it, make a YouTube video so you can look back at it later. Um, TVH, this is like, I would say 80% for other people, but like a good 20% for me. Like, you know, I know that there are going to be days that I'm going to need to look back and watch this and be like, God, you have been good. You have put your stamp on me, um, that you have, you know, done so many good things on my behalf. And, um, yeah, I, I just encourage you and implore you to honor God and continue to do that. Continue to seek him. Um, this world has so many, uh, imposters and and other things that just pull at us and it's it's really a lot more simple than we think um, it's you know complex it's simple all at the same time um, but it's it's really sweet just this life that we are you know blessed to have the opportunity to live out so um, have a good rest of your day guys again uh, I'm gonna pray a quick blessing actually over everybody who watched this video um, so dear God, I just thank you so much um, for this person, these people that are watching this video. Um, Lord, I thank you that you have given us um, experience in our life. Um, you have given us a testimony to share and you've given us platforms like social media um, to be able to share those things, God, because um, you tell us, and my favorite verse in the Bible is um, from Revelation, it says that Satan is defeated by the blood of the Lamb and the word of a testimony that we have. Lord, you have already sacrificed and given and put out the blood of the Lamb. And God, our part is to share our testimony, to give our testimony, um, to speak it out, to live it out. Um, and God, I just pray that every person watching this would begin to have that boldness um, that comes from you, that comes from the Holy Spirit living in them. Lord, I pray that um, they would find the core and the heartbeat of the dreams you've placed in them, God, that they would not be afraid of those dreams, but God, that they would allow you to move them, um, even though it's uncomfortable sometimes, from glory to glory, from dream to dream, um, where you have, um, Lord, placed different nuggets, Lord, and clues about their life, Lord, um, 
and about who you are really in each of those pieces and each of those clues. So God, I just pray over them. Lord, I just pray a blessing over them and I seal it in the name of Jesus and the blood of Jesus, Lord, because you have given them a calling. Lord, I believe there are people that are watching this video that will be stirred in their hearts, God, um, to just pursue you more, just even a little bit more, God, and to just lay their plans down just a little bit more, God, and to be willing just a little bit more to step out of their comfort zone and walk in the glory and the goodness that you have for them, God. Um, Lord, to just bask in the Shekinah glory, Lord, the presence of you. Um, Lord, it's so glorious, it's so good, and it's so sweet, and there's nothing like it. So God, I just pray this over them. In the name of Jesus, amen. Guys, have a blessed day. Bye.